Now, if we look at, at NSAIDs, okay, so down here, so taking this to down here, you can see NSAIDs and leaky gut that create direct damage to the mucosal lining of the GI tract. So, you know, if we kind of draw an image, okay, of the gut, and we look at the lining, the lining itself is, is a single layer of cells. It's very thin. It's a single layer. And this lining, each one of these cells um, on the surface produces mucus. So think of on the top of these cells, let's change the color a little bit here. We'll make that mucus red. So mucus kind of coats the top of these cells. And so what NSAIDs do, NSAIDs destroy that mucus lining and they expose the cells underneath. And so what happens, NSAIDs are notorious for creating um, ulcer, ulceration in the stomach and the small intestine. And so again, this is what we're referring to here is it damages the mucosal lining of the stomach and the intestine. Now, once you, once you, when you're, when you're metabolizing NSAIDs, something else happens that's, that kind of is a double hit, right? So we, we, we get this drug, we take it, it directly impacts just physically by, by being present in the stomach and intestine impacts and damages the mucosal lining. But then the drug goes into your blood and it's metabolized by your liver. And so what happens is it ends back up in the metabolites from the liver, it ends up in your bile. And so it's recirculated back to the gut. And so then the, the toxins and metabolites in the bile have actually also been shown to create damage to the GI tract. So you get a, an initial direct damage, but then you get an indirect damage from the metabolites as they are excreted through the bile. So the, 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 the metabolites can actually oxidize gut cells leading to the potential for leaky gut to occur. Now, the other thing that NSAIDs do is they deplete vitamin C and iron. Now we've talked about iron and I've done a complete breakdown on iron for you. You can go back into my video library and you can watch my crash course on iron. I've also done one on vitamin C, but to make it really, really simple for those of you listening, vitamin C is absolutely crucial for the gut to heal. So if you're on a medicine that is directly inhibiting or limiting your body's ability to get adequate vitamin C, then by default, right, you're going to create a problem for recovery. And this is one of the, the catch 22s of taking medicines like NSAIDs. And then what are we talking about? Aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, that, that, that class of, of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. And so they, because they can deplete vitamin C, they can reduce your body's capacity for healing and repair. And because they reduce iron, they can cause anemia, which means you don't get adequate oxygen to the tissue. And when you don't get adequate oxygen and vitamin C to the tissue, it won't heal properly. And you end up with this chronic inflammatory damage that repeats um, ad infinitum. So it's, it's not something you want to play with. So again, inflammation led to problems. Maybe your problem was pain of some sort, arthritis, you know, add an itis to the end of the word. And that means inflammation of whatever that word is, right? And so doctors oftentimes prescribe anti-inflammatories to treat the pain, right? And then the side effect of the anti-inflammatory contributes to an inability for the gut to heal and repair itself, but also damages the gut directly. Then we have down here, we've got birth control pills. So kind of moving from here, to here, right? So leaky gut and birth control pills. Here's what we know about BCP. Number one, the longer you're on them, the greater the likelihood that you could potentially develop inflammatory bowel disease, as I mentioned earlier, which again, damaging to the GI tract. But number two, look at this list of nutritional deficiency that can be induced as a result of birth control pill utilization. So they can deplete B6, vitamin B12, folate, calcium, magnesium, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Now we talked about vitamin C a minute ago and how important it is for the GI tract to heal. We talked about vitamin E a couple of weeks ago and I did a crash course on that. You can go check that out. But one of the couple that I wanna point out here are your vitamin B12 and your folate. And one of the reasons why is that B12 and folate play a major role in the GI tract linings, healing and repair. So remember B12 and folate are necessary for DNA and RNA replication, which 
in a nutshell, what this basically means is for cells to replicate, to make new cells, you've got to have adequate B12 and folate to do this. And the cells in your gut, in your small intestine, they turn over every two days. So they're rapidly reproducing. In other words, the cells in your intestine, have, they can heal every two days. They can turn over every two days. But if you have B12 and folate deficiency, that turnover rate slows down. So what ends up happening is these cells that are supposed to be replaced every two days to be fresh, to be vibrant, to be strong and resilient are now not being replaced every two days. It's taking longer for that cell turnover. And so what you get is you basically get very old cells. Think of two days for an intestinal cell as 90 years for a human life. And so if these cells have to live three, four, or five days because there's not enough B12 and folate to, to properly replicate new cells, then what ends up happening is your GI tract itself, the cells that line your gut, become old. And they become, you know, proverbially arthritic, if you will, like they become old and they start to lose their ability to properly function. Well, what are the functions of the cells in the small intestine? Digestion, absorption, right? The, the absorption of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients into your bloodstream to help your body heal and repair and do all the things that it's supposed to do. So again, you know, take, take what happens in, a, in the United States and in most industrialized countries, young girl, 16, parents are concerned about pregnancy. They get her on birth control pills for, from the age of 16 to 25, 26, before she's ready to get married and start a family, possibly. She's taking 10 years. She's taking this, right? And we've talked about this in the past. We've actually talked about estrogen and leaky gut before. Um, but, but one of the things that we do know is that females are at greater risk for the development of autoimmune disease. And one of the theories behind why that is an increased risk has to do with estrogen. Well, what's in birth control pills? Estrogen, only it's an artificial estrogen. So again, you're, you're taking something that we know more of can increase the risk for autoimmune disease, but we're also depleting nutrients in the process of that. Two of these nutrients are so critical for the rapid turnover rate of the cells in your GI tract that the cells can become so old that they lose their ability to properly function. And so the GI tract can start to break down and, and leaky gut can ensue as a result of that. So birth control pills, another one we got to be real cautious and careful about. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.